much. Hi everybody, this is Sharni from Trust My Kratap. So we are really glad to have Anne here at the store, at the booth, because you know, we were really looking forward to her. She's a darling and she made sure that she came on time. So I just want to show you what we have for you. The ones which are really hot selling ones. So as you know, we have multiple lines to work with, the paper line, the dye line and all. But I want to show you something which is the cutest one and which is there on the new product showcase as well. So let me start with something which is the cute one. So, so here is something for you. That's okay. So if you see these slices, what we're talking about. So if you get a little bit closer, you can do shaker cards with them, shaker tags with them. You can do a little globes with them. You can do fun activities. We had a lot of making takes yesterday with them. So I'm sure you guys are going to love it. So have a close look and Anne will be taking care of you throughout the video. And she'll be explaining you all the products and she'll give you a glimpse. Thank you, Shalini, for the wonderful introduction. I decided to do a voiceover at this part. As you can tell from the beginning of the video, there is a lot of noise at these shows and it is extremely difficult to film and talk at the same time. So these are the new shaker slices from Dress My Craft and OMG, these are so adorable. I just wanted to take them all home. There are these new sequins and there's these itty bitty bits of cuteness. Look at these slices that imitate fruit. This is, I think, my favorite way to get my shake on, really. <laughs> these will be great for making shaker pockets, for, for making shaker embellishments, for little details that you want to add to your cards, to your scrapbook pages, to your miniature making. Think of all the people who like to make miniatures and here are some great examples of how you can use these as miniatures. And look at all these lovely, lovely products. Some of these, I don't remember the name right now, but I will try to include them on the screen. And I just couldn't get enough of this booth. I could have spent hours just admiring all the beautiful products. Here again is a glimpse of in the showcase where the products were being shown off in these cute little cupcake liners. I thought that was a very sweet presentation. And this is also new at Dress My Craft. It is shrink pink plastic. So it's frosted on one side. This is an amazing product. This is a little different from your regular shrink plastic because of the frostiness and it colors very well. And here are some examples of some beautiful jewelry. There's also cutting dies at Dress My Craft and of course there's new ones for uh, this year. And here are some samples of some cards that were made uh, using the Dress My Craft dies. I love how the, they're using them in, they're making them in pink. They are so lovely. So there's also lots of beautiful paper pads. If you've ever seen any of the paper collections by Dress My Craft, you know there's a lot of attention to details. They are very beautifully detailed. They are a very nice quality paper as well. And you can buy so many embellishments from Dress My Craft to match, to coordinate with your paper to do all sorts of projects, whether it's scrapbook pages, cards, uh, home decor, uh, here's some frames, some books, some journals, shakers. <laughs> there, the possibilities are endless for creators. I love all their lines and I really like it when a company comes out with a line for that are more that is more masculine since I am uh, you know surrounded by males in my family and often it is hard to make crafts with them in mind. So the other thing I love is all the roses. There's a great emphasis on prettiness at this booth, great emphasis on things that are pink, which you know I love, and I just happen to love roses. Anything rosy, anything pink, anything flowery, that is my jam. And there is so much of that here. And I, I just don't know what else to say that I was just in love with so many of the projects that had been made and presented in the booth. And I'm just going to let you enjoy the eye candy now. <laughs> 